what comes as a major development in the ongoing violence in Manipur, it has been reported that arms used by militants in Manipur have been smuggled via Myanmar. The weapons were brought from a black market situated near the Myanmar-China border and transported to Manipur. During the search operation, four people, including an IRP personnel, were detained for smuggling arms. Manipur Governor Anusuya Uike dialed Home Minister Amit Shah to discuss the prevailing situation in Manipur. Two days prior, Chief Minister Biren Singh had met H.M. Shah where Singh apprised the Home Minister about the ground reality and added that the state and centre government have been collaborating effectively to curb the violence in the state. The Indian Army officials who have been deployed in the state to work alongside the Sam Rifles to ensure peace and quell the violence stated that the women of the state are being a hindrance in the relief process as they are siding with the rioters. Army officials stated that whenever their convoy moved towards a troubled spot, hundreds to thousands of women gathered to block roads and passes. This challenge in the state has continued for days, due to which the army was forced to let go of a dreaded terrorist who was the mastermind of 2015 ambush of a Dogra regiment convoy where 20 soldiers were martyred. The army officials who were encircled by a 1200 to 1500 mob of women appealed to the aggressive mob continuously, however they refused to listen. The challenge faced by the security personnel has come to a level that Dimapur based three corps had to appeal to the residents to cooperate in the efforts to help Manipur through a video message. The government in Manipur, led by Chief Minister Enbiren Singh, stated that financial assistance will be provided to 50,648 displaced people temporarily staying in 349 relief camps stating that the government is assuring all possible assistance. Chief Minister Biren Singh said that temporary houses are also being constructed for those displaced. Going on since May 3rd, the ethnic clashes in Manipur has still now claimed 120 lives and left over 3,000 injured. Houses of Maitei groups have been torched by militants who are roaming freely in the state after looting arms and weapons.